Hey yo! Today we are checking out uh, Alto's Adventure from the Alto collection uh, that was, that actually is still available on Epic Games. Uh, this video is gonna probably be a lot shorter than the usual gameplay stuff because I'm actually not gonna be like playing this for a long time. Your llamas are escaping down the mountain. Quick, grab your snowboard and chase after them. Because this game isn't as much about like the story and like the gameplay as it is just about the atmosphere. Lamas equal <laughs> points. Okay. Or at least that's the vibe I got from the other auto game in the collection. Uh, that one is the one in the desert. Press and hold A to backflip. Yay, we get a speed boost. Okay, so this is still just the intro, so we don't just get to enjoy the cool atmosphere yet. Uh, so I kind of have an idea of what the game can be like. However, uh, however, uh, I haven't played this version of the Alto thingy. <clears throat> but yeah. Unfortunately, the tutorial kind of takes you out of it a lot. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. It is quite loud for me, but that probably doesn't matter as much. Uh, I'm not sure if the Odyssey version, I think it's Odyssey, the desert version actually had like a thing that was comparable to these llamas or not. But uh, I, I do think it's kind of an interesting way of breaking up what could kind of end up being a bit monotonous. <clears throat> Although it is also kind of stopping me from doing some of the cool stuff like grinding over there and stuff. So I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, I somehow just got <laughs> outplayed by an arrow that pointed downwards there. <laughs> I, I feel like an idiot. Okay, so what are our quests this time? Catch five llamas, 500 meters, and jump over two rocks. Those can all be done pretty quickly, actually. Oh, that's two. That's 500. Now we just need the llamas. Oh, wait, did we just do everything there? Nice. But I'm actually just gonna keep going, just see how far we can actually get. Uh, I absolutely love the like, kind of overly simplistic art style with the backgrounds and stuff, whilst I, I guess like the rocks and stuff aren't quite as overly simplistic, but still. It's not too much, there isn't too much visual clutter, there's just enough. And the music does feel like a part of the experience, although for whatever reason, it suddenly got really, really loud, so... Uh, like, here it's the perfect volume, right? But when I go back in, it's gonna be loud. And let's not leave the mouse there, that would kind of be awkward, right? Uh, but yeah, the game doesn't really have much outside of like the basic gameplay, as far as I can tell. But it doesn't need to have, because this isn't the game, a game like you actually want to play for a long time, for a long time. Uh, this is more like just, almost like a relaxation, like exercise, to a point. It's kind of weird to actually even like, <laughs> make a gameplay video of a game that's more of an experience than it is a game. What, what was going on there? Oh, this guy is chasing us. I feel like there is like a micro old Microsoft game that wh where you're basically skiing and then there's just a random like boogeyman that starts chasing you after a while or a snow monster. Maybe it's a Yeti. Whatever it is. You guys know what I'm talking about or did I just like imagine that? I feel like that might... I'm not sure if I actually like that aspect though, because it is kind of just making this feel more like a game rather than what I 
previously described it, which was just like a relaxation exercise, which actually it did quite well. Uh, pick up a coin magnet, travel 5,000 meters, score 500 chick points in one run. Yep, 5,000 5, meters, also known as, a, known as five kilometers, but who's really counting? Okay, so far we only have traveled 3.4, so we do have to kind of outdo ourselves. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to backflip like there. Okay. I guess we needed a bit more speed, or maybe I just missed time to jump there. Whatever it is, we couldn't do it. Or I couldn't do it. I'm not gonna blame you guys for <laughs> me mistiming them. Also, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually kind of bounce off the stones if you actually just fall straight on top of them. Like, the game isn't overly punishing. At least the desert person isn't. Unless you do that, then it is extremely punishing. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, I don't like the rain though. Oh, and it continues. Oh no. I know some people kind of feel like just hearing rain noises indoors is relaxing, but... In video games, I, I actually almost dislike just seeing snowy stuff as well. Because it just reminds me of winter, which probably is nice if you like live in a warm country, but uh, here winter is not fun. There's absolutely nothing fun about like spending two weeks without literally without seeing the sun like it literally just doesn't come up or if it does it's just for a couple of minutes like actual minutes and like there is a day when it just doesn't ever there is no sunrise the whole day okay that's the magnet we have at least completed that part like that's what what winters are like in the north so I really don't actually need any reminders of bad weather or winter and I still cannot time these jumps right <laughs> oh well and we just have to travel for a long distance which is arguably the hardest thing to do here but it is what it is did we just get points for just seeing the sunrise it is nice though not like Wait, the guy is gone. He's not gonna chase us then. That's weird. I kind of miss him now. Wee. Okay, and we are grinding. Okay, wait, what is this? Why are we floating? Oh yeah, actually doing the backflip thing it gets you further as well. I keep forgetting that though. Oh, but now we didn't actually have enough air to do the backflip. Oh wait, well, well, it is what it is. Actually, me, I have been struggling with not having too much dead air in my videos, but I feel like in this game it almost isn't bad thing when you when you have a bit of dead air because then you just get to enjoy the atmosphere i am a bit nervous about the guy that starts following you maybe it's just like there to like force you to actually advance in the quests Did we just get a quest to scare birds? That's kind of random, isn't it? I haven't even seen that many birds in the game yet. Or maybe I have and I, I just missed them. 
That could be it, now that I think about it. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, we had enough air. That's hype. And I definitely actually like the village design, which I didn't expect. Like, the first time I saw it, which was like, well, you saw me, saw the first time I saw it, I really didn't have any, like, response at all. But now that I'm seeing it again, like, I kind of like those village designs. Okay, wait, I didn't even see the stone there. I was panicking about the guy. Oh, well. Snowboard at night, so we just have to keep grinding then. Oh wait, it's already sunset. Well, not quite, but it's gonna be. Ooh. Wonder if we can actually just play long enough to... In a single game to actually get to the night, or if we'll actually have to restart once more. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like at this point you've kind of gotten the idea of the game. Uh, would I recommend this? Probably, yeah, actually. But not if you want a fun game to try out. That's kind of not what this is. Uh, and so far it kind of feels like the actual game parts of this game are not where it's really shining. Okay, well we got the night as well. So we are gonna finish this run and then we are just gonna end the video. But how far do we get? And up, uh, uh, I see what you're doing there. Don't move your mouse. Don't try to check how long the video is. No spoilers. Come on, dude. Uh. Okay. It's kind of weird that like skiing on ice somehow is almost a buff in this game, whereas it's definitely not one in real life. It's definitely, definitely just dangerous. Okay. I keep doing doing it with the stones, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's kind of kind. Of, it is actually kind of a fun game as well, but at the same time, yeah, as I mentioned, like eight times by now, <laughs> it is more of an experience than a game. Definitely recommend it though. You should try it out. Uh, not sure if you actually want to pay full price for the game. And um, oh, I should mention that since it is like an alto collection thing, if you buy it, you actually get both that and the desert version. So if you like me don't really enjoy snowy landscapes and stuff uh maybe you too live in the north and just hate winter uh there is a desert version as well and i guess vice versa uh but yeah i feel like it, it is worth getting for that price i wouldn't buy just one of the games but the collection ah it's worth it. definitely get it on epic games or if it's on steam you can get it there as well then but I have no idea if it is or isn't there. And uh, yeah, with that being said, dudes, dudettes, and everything in between, I hope you have a great day, night, morning, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next feed. Have a good one. Bye.